Hey everybody, Kyle here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Undertale Blind, and welcome to what I think is going to be the finale. So at the end of the last part, after we finished up Alphys' lab and came back to the barrier where Alphys was, uh, Toriel showed up, and so did everyone else, uh, apparently, uh, because Papyrus called everyone and told them to show up here. And apparently, he was told to do so by a flower. And we only know one flower who is anthropomorphic, has the attributes of a human, is what I'm trying to say. I don't remember the word, but, you know, I tried to say it. Anyways, but, um, yeah, so it's flowy, I'm assuming. But, uh, here we go. A tiny flower? Aw, oh, shit. Yup. Oh, God. It's all going to hell. You idiots! While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls, and now not only are those under my power, but all your friend's souls are gonna be mine, too. Hee hee hee. And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault! It's all because you made them love me. What? All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Hee hee hee. Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play any with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us never ends. It will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. He he he. Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. Oh, God. Uh, even if it means killing you 100 or 1 million times. Oh, my God. Stop it. Oh, this is cruel. Oh, my God. Eh, oh. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Yes. Yes, yes! That's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do! Believe in you! Hey, human, if you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry, we're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet. Come on, this weirdo's, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Yeah, you tell that asshole. Yes. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but, but somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Yes. Yes! Everyone's here with me. Oh, this is awesome. Even, even Muffet, or Muffet, whatever. Urgh, no. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You, you. Idiot. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Oh my god, no. The dog is just down there chilling. He don't know what's going on. Oh, jeez. Oh, Mouse, get out of here. You're ruining the mood. Oh? Hello? Oh, God, don't. Yeah, just face that way, please. Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Oh, n what? I get it.
so Flowey was their son? Howdy, Kyle, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Oh my god. Ezreal Dreamer. Oh my god. Yes! The song! This is my favorite song in the entire game and probably one of my favorite um, video game tracks of all time. I fucking love it. I'm gonna have to boost it up. Jam to it while I'm doing this fight. Um, okay. Uh, let's, let's hope. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. Yes. Oh, controller, stop it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. Okay. We can do this. Oh my god, the bullet hell. Okay, Azrael charges Shocker Breaker. Uh, Dream. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Oh my god. Oh, what? What? Oh, holy crap. Can I still die here? Um, what all do I have? Um, let's eat the hush, pu hush puppy. Okay, after I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Oh, okay, so... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can still die. Okay, <laughs> I want a way to break the mood. Oh, but it refused. Oh, I can't die, apparently. Okay, you held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. Okay, unless I just reset the fight, but still. Oh my gosh. This is like, oh my gosh. Like I've already gushed on this game's fighting system. I don't know how many times, but it's crazy. He kept holding on. Damage reduced. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. Oh my gosh. I, I understand how to dodge that now. Ezreal Kart calls on Chaos Saber. Okay. I'm gonna just keep on hoping. Gotta have hope, baby. Okay. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Dodge those. That's what killed me last time. Uh, okay. Keep hoping. You just gotta have hope. All your progress. Everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. You wouldn't do that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, star blazing? Okay. Then we can do everything all over again. Da 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 That's that's my favorite part of the song right there. Like I know that's Flowey's theme, but it it fits. It fits and I like it. Uh okay. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. Well yeah, I mean I guess I would do it. I don't know exactly what you mean, but uh, oh, stop. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and eat the glam burger. I'm gonna keep that snowman piece if I can. And then you'll lose to me again. More of this. Oh, okay. Alright. I got this. Okay. Chaos Burster? I, I think we've seen that already. And again. Yeah, okay, this is that gun thing. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's best if I just be slow? I think it is, okay. Yeah, this is rad. Like, this This reminds me of, like, um, the final battle in, I guess, Mother 3. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die again. Well, I can't really die, so I guess technically not. Um... But yeah, like you just, you're you're not doing the same old, same old um, in this fight. Um, well, I guess we kind of are, but um, it's just the, the, the final fight in Mother 3 is just so 
different from the other fights. And, you know, I don't mean to talk about Mother 3 in the middle of this, but because you love your friends. Dude, just, I get it. I get it. You're sad because you died. And your, your, your buddy human died. I get it. But if you just calm down and have some hope, because you never give up. Yes, you're right. Because I'm not a schmuck. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh! How did I not get hit there? Okay, yeah, we could just completely clean out our inventory. We don't even need anything anymore. Um, your determination, the power that let you get this far. It's gonna be your downfall. Yeah, whatever you say. You know you're gonna be beat. You might as well just accept it. Okay, Hypergoner? I think you're just making up names now. Uh, now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Oh my god. Whoa, hello. Get out of here. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. He broke it. Uh, even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see how good your determination is against this. Oh no. Oh my god. Uh, what is this? Uh, can I, oh, all I can do is struggle. Can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power. Oh god. Nope. You ain't doing it. Yeah, that's right. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends get a, forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. But, but dude, don't you, like... You can reunite with your parents. I mean, they're here. The whole world is ending. No, it's not. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in, the, in your next life. Oh, gosh. Okay. Alright. Nope. Oh, well. We're just gonna keep coming on back. Alright. <laughs> Still? Come on. Show me what good that your determination is now. Well, I mean... Obviously, our character is determined to like hold on to things or else like he just would have given up can't move your body nothing happened you struggle nothing happened you tried to reach your save file nothing happened you tried again to reach your save file nothing happened seems saving the game really is impossible but maybe with what little power you have you can save something else oh my gosh oh yes this is the the other part of the song this I think this this is literally called Save the World. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, and I, I love this more than the other one. Okay, uh, Undyne, you reached out to Asriel's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? The lost soul appeared. Uh. Oh, it's okay. Um, fake hit. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die. Oh my gosh, am I gonna have to like do these fights again? Like little snippets of them? Um, recipe. You ask the lost soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. You're our real enemy. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Like, I, I did not. Like, I'm glad it didn't actually spoil the boss fights for me, because, like, that that would have ruined it, but... Okay, Clash. You clashed against the Lost Soul with all your might. She recognizes your fighting spirit. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Yes! You feel something faintly resonating within Asriel. Alright, let's go ahead and save... Let's do Papyrus. Within the depths of Asriel's soul, something's resonating. 
The lost souls appear. Uh, no, 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 no. I capture, I must capture a human. Oh, uh, wait, I, whoa, oh, crap. I didn't, I didn't want to fight them there. That was kind of an accident. Um, okay. Um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and puzzle. Yes, lost soul for help with the puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. Then everyone will, why even try? Yes. Oh my god, this is... I don't know why, but I, I really, really like this. I can't even describe it. Um... Uh... Re recipe? You asked the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. You'll never see him again, says Sans, still being all dark and mysterious. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um... Joke. You told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. Then every- okay. Apparently that wasn't enough. I like that they're doing like a mashup of all these boss fights. Oh my gosh. Um, insult? You insulted the lost soul. Suddenly, its memories are flooding back. Seeing how nicely you treated its brother, the other lost soul remembers too. Yes! I'm not. I'm rooting for you, kid. Says Sans. Oh my gosh. Okay. Who next? Who next? Um. Let's go ahead and do Alphys. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something resonating. Okay. Lost soul appears in her dress. All right. Um. Let's see. Encourage. You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something's about the something about the way you said is familiar to her. You hate me, don't you? Oh, okay, so now we're doing, uh, Metaton, which I guess makes sense, because we never really fought Alphys. Okay, the Lost Soul stands there. Um, call? You call the Lost Soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. She doesn't know why, but this all seems very familiar. I've got to keep lying. No, you don't. Just give in and remember. Remember the joy. Remember everything. Um, nerd out? You ask the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Yeah. Um, you feel something strongly resonating within Asriel. Uh, let's see Toriel. Within the depths of Asriel's soul, something's resonating. Okay, the lost souls appear. Alright. No, 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 no. Don't fight. We ain't fighting. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. Okay, so maybe they're in control to a point to where they know what's going on, but they don't really want to do it. Like, I think they're just being controlled by by uh, Asriel, which is probably kind of obvious, but... Um, okay, let's hug. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're doing Asgore stuff. This, this music fits so well, like I, when I heard this song, like I knew it would fit, but I didn't know it would fit this well. It's amazing. Um, okay. Let's do preference. You'll tell the lost soul you prefer cinnamon instead of butterscotch. Yo, oh, I love that throwback. Oh my gosh. Somehow she faintly recalls hearing this before. Okay. Um. I, I wonder if it's going to be like Papyrus and Sands, where if I get Toriel to like me, like Asgore will get there as well. Talk? You tell the lost soul that you have you have to go if you're going to free everyone. Suddenly, her memories are flooding back. Seeing her remember you, the male lost soul tried hard to remember you too. Yeah! Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Indeed I am. You feel your friend's souls resonating within Asriel. Oh gosh, do I get to save him now? Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh, what are you doing? Oh gosh.
You feel your friend's souls resonating within Asriel. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone. Dude, no, give in. It's okay. Stop it, get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. Okay, let's keep doing this, we got this. Kyle, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? I know, man. You don't want me to leave. I get it. I get it. I understand. I'm doing this because you're special, Kyle. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. Aww. No. That's not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Kyle. I care more than anybody else. Oh man. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So I think he's mistaking us for the original kid that fell down here, I think. That's what I'm getting from this, I think. Um, so please, stop doing this and just let me win. No, do it. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Don't do it. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Oh, how, oh my god. <laughs> Holding on by just a fucking sliver. Oh my god. Kyle. Just keep doing it. I'm so alone, Kyle. But you don't have to be alone. I'm so afraid, Kyle. Kyle, I... I...
Okay, I really didn't want to talk over that because I didn't want to ruin the moment. But dang, that. Ooh, I don't even know what to say, honestly. Boy. Oh, you are awake, thank goodness. We, we were so worried. I felt like you were all out. You were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked you out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I did not cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? There's, don't worry, there's no milk in it, because, you know, milk would ruin the tea, but it'll make you feel better. Er, how about we give them some, uh, we give them space first. They must be very exhausted. Though, from what, I'm not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. Oh, so they don't even remember that their son was there. Dang, that's kind of sad. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead there. Will lead us there now. Man, if I could just read. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. Oh, gosh. Controllers. Calm down there. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to everyone. Hello, Frisk. Alphys upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh, man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork! You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. Ah, wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her! Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile! Oh my gosh. Hey, Frisk, what's with that weird expression? Sans, did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with me? Oh god. And then asked me to, <laughs> asked to call me mother? I remember doing that. Oh boy. Wow, Frisk! This really puts our relationship in a new light! <laughs> hey, Tori, do you have any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever! But I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It is hard to think anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> oh god. Alphys would. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Toriel, you have no idea. Oh gosh. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the Human's Quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. Truly, this is the worst possible ending. Nah, it's not. Alright, controller. Alright, Undyne, what do you guys say? So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Oh god, they're gonna go off and smooch. Well, of course, I'm going to go out and, um, no, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to being losers. Heh, <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we, huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's an anime? <laughs> Oh my god. Frisk, please help me explain what anime is to Asgore. Y you see, it's like a cartoon, but... Oh god, with swords, with guns. Let's say with swords. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords. Golly, that sounds neato. 
Where is this? Where could I see the anime? Oh, stop. <laughs> Hold on, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh... Um, that's the... That's the wrong... Uh, never mind. Goalie? Were those two robots? Oh, no. Kissing? Oh, boy. Technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Oh, boy. Uh, pst. Frisk. Um, y you've got to tell me. D do you think Asgore and Toriel are... Uh, ever going to get back together? They definitely should. Yeah. Y yeah, yeah, that's what I hope, too. Oh, no. She has the hots for Toriel now. Man, calm down, Alphys. Just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one ship of all time. Tori and Gori. My, my old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I still hope we can be pals. Aw, oh, don't worry, man, we can. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. That's true. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore? That's not what I meant. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see, what if I go down here? Um... Okay, no, you know what? I think it's just time to end this. Let's go. Let's go to the surface, I suppose. Okay. Oh man. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. Let's do it. I'm ready. Here we go. No Undertale title? Oh, That's a really good shot. Oh my! Isn't it beautiful? Everyone? My voice suddenly fixed itself. Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live the- You live this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the <clears throat> That's the sun? Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! Well, you're not, I mean, you're not really meeting him. You're not introducing yourself to him, but, uh... I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Be the ambassador? Well, of course. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Oh, no. Welp. Someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Okay. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait. Hey, Undyne, wait up. Oh, sorry about the snot sucking. Gosh. Whoops. Uh... Uh, should I do something? Oh gosh. Well, gotta go. You could apologize to her and then, like, make up or something. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Okay. So do we leave? Do we leave now? Frisk. You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? Um, I want to stay. I have places to go. Uh, oh gosh. I feel like this is gonna... Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, I'm sure... I'm sure that he wants to return home to his family. But... Uh... You know what? Let's just say I want to... No. 
Let's say I have places to go. Ah, I see. Well, I hope that I'm not keeping you. Oh man, now I feel kind of bad. Frisk, see you around. No, just go hug her at least, man. No! Aw. Okay, yes! This is another good song, too. And this, we're about to see it, uh, a real good, like, Earthbound throwback. Oh my gosh, yeah, because they, and Mother 3, they did this in both Earthbound and Mother 3. And it was one of my favorite things. Um, yeah, so I guess this is it, guys. I think this is the credits. Like, this is the only credits we're going to get. So, yeah, um, <laughs> Oof, man, this, I don't even know what to say. This, this has been probably one of my favorite, like, playthroughs that I've done in a really, really, really long time. Like, I think this kind of revitalized doing Let's Plays again for me. Um, because it's been a really awesome experience, you know. Just playing this game and being able to share my reactions. And I think it would be really awesome, like in the future to try to be more interactive with you guys um, throughout these playthroughs. And I, I know not many people watch these videos at the moment, and yeah, I'm not trying to get pity or anything, but, um, you know, but there has been like a few people who have been really awesome and, and supportive through this playthrough. Um, and the biggest person I got to thank is a guy by the name of Poltergust5000. Um, he's been really cool with helping me with this playthrough. Um, he's the one that I refer to as my quote-unquote advisor throughout this playthrough. He's the one who gave me all these tips for Easter eggs and things like that. Um, and I also, <laughs> I had to get his help with um, getting to the true pacifist ending because um, I, I couldn't figure it out. But yeah, so he's a really cool guy. He, he really helped me out with this playthrough. Um, we've actually got a collaboration plan coming uh, very soon. And uh, yeah, I just go check out his channel if you happen to watch this and you don't know who this guy is go look at his channel He does some really good uh, Let's plays on there. And he's just he's a he's a pretty cool guy overall. So I would recommend um, checking him out um, And also another person I got to thank I don't know I don't think they watch my videos, but the person that introduced me to this game uh, was a friend by the name of Alyssa so she probably not gonna watch this video, but you know um, Yeah, so without her I probably would have never played this game, um, which is crazy. It's crazy to think about, but I'm really glad that she showed it to me, so I have to give her a little bit of thanks for that. Um, but yeah, I, I really love this game. Um, you know, I I think it went up to like one of my like my top five favorite games. Um, so it's in my opinion, it's right up there with. Um, Mother 3 and Earthbound, like, I'd say that, Mo I think Mother 3 is like my, my second favorite game of all time, and it's behind Majora's Mask. Um, and then I'd say that Earth, that, um, Undertale at the moment is probably at a, maybe a 3 or a 4. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I love this game, I love the soundtrack, I love the message, I love everything about this game. And I, I definitely, like, plan on playing this again at some point, um, just on my own time, just to mess around and goof around. Um, I know eventually I'm going to have to try the, the genocide run, which is going to tear me up, but um, if I want to get, like, the full experience from this game, I've got to do the, the neutral run and the, pa the genocide run at some point. But, yeah... So it looks like this is coming to an end. Yep, as the, the text scrolls up. Oh, no, you can't, don't do this, no, stop. Oh my God. No. Ha 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 ha, did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Special thanks? Wait, what is... Oh, okay, so here we... 
here we have like the actual credits. Okay. Yeah. Um, I I'd say the team who worked on this game did a really good job, and I think most of this game, from my understanding, was actually done just by one guy, and that was uh, Toby Fox. Um, yeah, and I I'd say if he was the only one who worked on this game, then he did a really freaking good job. Like, and and the the amazing thing is. I know that his main inspiration for the game was Mother 3 and Earthbound. Um, because he did, uh, I think he actually did an Earthbound ROM hack back in the day. And y you could, I could definitely get the Mother 3 and Earthbound vibe from this game and see all the little references to it and, the little, and things like that. Um, and maybe, maybe that's why I love this game so much because it reminds me of mother three and earthbound so much so yeah that's definitely like that's that, that could be why and that's most likely why i love this game so much but as i said earlier i, I also love the message of this game because it's a really good feel game and i mean those are you know i i based off of like what i said was like in my top th like five favorite games um you know, it's kind of obvious that good feel games are probably my favorite games, uh, just in general. Because, you know, it, to me, now I know I feel like I'm getting preachy and philosophical here, but video games for me have always been like an escape from just, you know, the, the, the crappiness of life sometimes. And to have a good feel game, it's like, you know, wait, wait, what am I doing here? Touched credits? Uh, okay. But yeah, so, um, yeah, it's, it's just, I love good feel games because it just, it, it just, like, it, it, well, I don't even know how to word it, but it's, it's like the reason why I love video games is because they make you feel good. Yeah. So that's the gist of it there. Um, okay. Someone took a picture of us. The end. Okay. Oh, can I just, like, leave it here? Or is it just gonna, like, make me skip it or something? Because I would love to just leave it on the screen for a moment while I talk about things that are gonna be coming up next. Um, yeah, because I don't think anything else is gonna happen after this. Um, there may or may not be a bonus video for this playthrough. Um, I'm not gonna make any promises or anything. But if there's, like, any after-game stuff that I can do, like, I can go back into the game and do, like, epilogue things, um, maybe I'll do something showing that off, but I'm not really going to stress doing it so much. Um, so yeah, there might be a bonus video, and then basically besides that, um, this Undertale playthrough is complete. Um, I don't think I'll ever do a recording of uh, the Genocide run because... The magic of doing this game was for it being blind and to go back and do a Genocide Run. Yeah. Maybe one day I'll do a stream of the Genocide Run because that's another thing I was going to mention. I, w I am thinking about doing streaming at some point and streaming the Genocide Run would be a really good thing because then I could interact with an audience and maybe have, um, maybe I could see if P5000 would be interested in that and he could get on and we could have fun and, you know, he could constantly, like, counsel me as I go through killing everyone and you know maybe get another friend on or something like that but that would be fun but besides that um Undertale's done and I've really enjoyed this playthrough and I hope you guys have too um so usually I don't really just say what the next playthrough is going to be because a lot of the time I change my mind in between playthroughs and end up doing something else but I I have decided and I've already started preparing for this next playthrough, but it is going to be um, Mother 3. So I like that I'm going from one really good feel game that has become one of my favorite games of all time to a game that actually is my second favorite game of all time. So I, I, I like that idea. Um, it, it might be a collaboration with someone. We haven't really worked out all the details or what's going to go on with that. Um, but more on that will come when I actually start the playthrough and I'll explain if it is a collab and how it's going to work. But if not, I'll just be doing the playthrough um, very shortly after this 
part goes up. We'll just, we got to see how things are going to work out. But, um, yeah, so Mother 3 is coming up next. And there will be a little title thing at the end that kind of shows that a little more. But, yeah. So, anyways, I think that's all I've got to say. I really love this playthrough. I hope you guys did too. Um, and I sincerely hope that you will join me in the next part. when, Or, not the next part, but my next playthrough, which, as I said, is going to be Mother 3. So, yeah. For the last time for Undertale, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video and this playthrough, please let me know in a comment below. Like the video, subscribe, all of that good, amazing stuff. And I hope to see you in Mother 3. Thanks for watching. <laughs> what the fuck? That was dumb. <laughs>